You're watching My Life, My Power. I'm Brittany Lozano. My name is Daniel Pewter. Today you're going to watch a video from Krista Allen. She has been in a ton of TV shows, movies. You might recognize her from Friends, Baywatch Hawaii. She was also in movies like Anger Management, Liar Liar. She went to Texas University and got a degree in education. So I hope you enjoy this video and have a perfect week. Yeah, I was I was bullied. Um, I was bullied a lot. I, I moved around a lot when I was younger. I never stayed in the same place for longer than probably a year or two. And um, we just moved around a lot. And so I was always the new kid at school. And the girls didn't like me. And I was always called names. It didn't matter because the guys did like me. And um, I would be called lots of names. And um, it was really hard. So I kept trying to find ways to fit in anything. I just, I just wanted people to like me. And the more that I wanted people to like me, the more they didn't. And it was almost like I was working against myself. And so I, um, I think I lost a lot of, I think a lot of, I lost a lot of, or I didn't, let me think, um, I didn't have a lot of self-esteem going into these schools. Um, I was terrified. And so I, I kind of lost myself um, in a lot of ways when I would go to school. Um, my grades started suffering. My social life was definitely suffering. Um, and I would just choose the wrong people to be friends with, almost trying to impress them in order to just be friends with them. And it never really worked because I certainly wasn't being true to myself. And I think if I was to tell any child, any kid, any adult, it still works for when you're older too. Um, I'd say be true to yourself and kind of have faith in yourself for who you are. And all of those words and all of those things that people say about you, you know it's not true. It's kind of like if you were walking down the street and somebody said, hey, you're a penguin. <laughs> what would you say? You'd say, you're crazy, I'm not a penguin. And it's kind of like that when somebody calls you fat or this or that or, or whatever it is, um, you know inside who you are. And I think that's the biggest cause of the pain that, that people go through whenever they're bullied is they actually believe the lies that other people are telling about them. And it's really painful. I remember at one point, I had the worst acne ever. And people would call me zit face and pizza face and they'd make fun of me for that a lot. Um, I also went through a phase where I used food as a um, cushion and I ate a lot and I gained a lot of weight. So I was called fat. I don't know that they ever actually said fatty, but cow, fat, um, whatever it was. Um, I went through a lot of different phases, I guess. You know, it's funny because I don't know how funny it is. It's not like knee slapping funny, but um, I think there's a lot that's blocked out in my head from when I was a kid. And it's kind of a shame because I bet there was a lot of really great things that happened too. Um, I think probably, I think I, one of the things I also used to do when I, was, when I was younger is I would look in magazines and then try to emulate the fashion yeah, you don't do that whenever you have no money. And you, or at least me, I had no idea how to put together something fashionable. So I can remember getting out of, <laughs> getting, getting off the bus, and I really loved purple. This is something that stands out in my mind. I loved purple. So I had on purple tights and purple shoes and a purple skirt and a purple shirt, and I was probably... 20 pounds overweight and a face full of zits. Um, 
And uh, I remember getting bullied pretty bad. And people were calling me the purple people eater and all this stuff. And it was, I was so proud of my outfit. And I thought I looked so great. But um, everybody was um, making fun of me. And that was later. That was probably as I got, I think as I got older. Um, this is probably around eighth grade, I guess. And that's when I had let all of the words really affect me. And that's when I would go home and I would eat. And I would, I was... I would rather make myself ugly and have friends than I, I think I was hiding behind something at some point. I didn't make it past eighth grade. I left school and I never went back. Lots of reasons, but at the same time, I think I was also so scared of people because they had been so mean. And so I left, and I ended up getting my GED and all of that. Um, but I think, I think it definitely had an effect on me, and it had an effect on me as, as an adult, uh, on the way that I view people, or the way that I think that people view me. And so I guess thousands of dollars in therapy later, I'm starting to realize that I wasn't those things and that I can actually relate to people a lot better, but I think definitely it affected me in a big way. It's exactly what I was saying a minute ago, and it was, um, I think as long as you have a sense of yourself, look, a lot of, a lot of kids, especially when I was growing up, a lot of kids, we didn't necessarily have the parents that explained to us or made us maybe understood what we know now. We have so much knowledge on the way that um, people are. Like, we, we know so much more now as a society than we did when I was in junior high school. Um... So the cool thing about it is that my son has a really cool sense of himself, and he's so loved. And so whenever there's a bully or somebody's trying to say something about him, I've used that penguin theory to him, and that's why I brought it up before. It's like, really? Somebody's saying this to you? Do you really believe that? Is that really true? Or is that just somebody trying to make themselves feel better? by having a second of putting somebody else down, putting you down. Visit mylifemypower.org and help us take a stand against bullying. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I want you guys to do two main things. Go to the website, mylifemypower.org, check out everything we have, and if your school hasn't signed up for our social network yet, do it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day today and see you next time.